We have discussed in our earlier videos zakat concept, economic benefits, zakat pays for companies, zakat rates, and zakat calculations. This video we will cover zakat treatment in accounts and financial statements, as well as disclosure requirements for zakat. Accounting and auditing organization of Islamic financial institution has two standards covering zakat. FAST 9, financial reporting for zakat. AOV has issued an exposure draft to revise FAST 9. Sharia standard 35 titled zakat, which we covered in earlier videos. Please check our channel for the earlier videos on zakat. Zakat Part 1 covered concept, benefit, and applicability and exceptions from Zakat. Part 2 covered Zakat based calculation for companies and Sharia Standard 35. Part 3 covered Zakat rates and calculation. This video today covers FAST 9 treatment of Zakat in accounts and financial statements. Standards provide two treatment depending upon which scenario applies to the entity. Scenario one is where zakat is required to be paid by the company or institution by its governance framework, while scenario two, the governance framework doesn't require zakat to be paid by the company. We'll discuss each one in detail. There are three independent conditions for scenario one to be applicable. First condition is when the law requires the Islamic financial institution or the entity to satisfy the zakat obligation. Second one is when the Islamic financial institution is required by its charter or bylaws to satisfy the zakat obligation. And third one is when General Assembly has passed a resolution requiring the Islamic financial institution to satisfy the zakat payable. If one of these conditions is met and Islamic financial institution is obliged to pay zakat, and is treated under scenario one. The treatment has two aspects. Zakat shall be treated as a non-operating expense of the Islamic financial institution or the entity and shall be included in determination of the net income in the income statement. Unpaid zakat shall be treated as liability and presented in the liability sections in the statement of the financial position of Islamic financial institution are an entity. Scenario two, in the absence of the conditions mentioned in scenario one, the cost becomes responsibility of the shareholders. And in this case, some or all of the shareholders may ask the Islamic financial institution or the company to act as an agent on their behalf in meeting the zakat obligation relating to their investment in the entity from their share of distributable profits. In case of scenario two, the cost in this case is to be deducted from the distributable profits of the shareholders. If there are insufficient distributable profits to meet the shareholders obligation, the amount paid by the Islamic financial institution shall be recorded as receivable from the respective shareholders. FAST 9 outlines the following seven disclosure requirements for Islamic financial institution. Method used for the determination of the zakat base and the items included therein. If you remember our earlier videos, there are two ways to calculate zakat base. Rulings of the Sharia Supervisory Board of the institution on the issues related to the zakat that are not included in FAST 9. Whether or not the Islamic financial institution or the entity in its capacity as a holding company pays its share of zakat obligation in its subsidiaries. The amount of zakat that is due from each share in case where the institution or the entity does not pay zakat, the amount of zakat is due from the equity of investment account holders. Whether or not the institution collects and pays zakat on behalf of investment account holders and other accounts. Restrictions imposed by the Sharia Supervisory Board of the institution in determining the zakat base. FAST 9 disclosures are required in addition to FAST 1. 
which is general presentation and disclosure in the financial statement of Islamic banks and financial institutions. FAST1 also has its standard re disclosure requirements that should be observed as well. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please email us. Please subscribe to our channel for further videos on Islamic banking and finance. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.